You're tuning in to HowToPlayStock.com. My name is Casey Kepley, and uh, today I wanted to cover the uh, SLV or silver chart uh, for silver. Now, this is the weekly chart, and I'm going off the weekly chart because it kind of gives you a, a bigger picture of what's going on here with silver. Now, if you keep in mind, in some of my other videos, I've talked about how silver is being suppressed, okay? And there's a lot of evidence to back this up. We've got five major banks that have uh, basically come out in the news um, just over the last few months, you know, with Deutsche Bank being investigated. Um, and Deutsche Bank pretty much threw the others under the bus uh, along with themselves and, uh, you know, presented evidence that they've been manipulating the silver market. Okay. Now, this is, I mean, it's, it's a, a very serious thing what they're doing. Uh, but if you're somebody who isn't necessarily a speculator and you know how silver works and you understand the uh, supply and demand of silver and where it's going over the long term, what you want to do is stay in on silver because right now it's being suppressed. So these prices, don't pay attention to the prices. They're artificial prices uh, based off the manipulation from these five major banks. Okay, and uh, all it should, pers I mean, all it should do really is make you smile because these are great buying opportunities right now. Um, I've been in silver and I'm planning on at least a, a two year time frame here where you know I buy in at these low prices and just wait for it to go up. Because right now, if you're looking at this pattern here. Um, I've went ahead and highlighted with trend lines and I've circled the tops and the bottoms. But if you look dating back to uh, March of 2016, okay, it, it was going up and it went up pretty strong. You know, it, from here it went up here to the high. We had a, a higher low from where it was over here, a higher low, and then it went to a higher high up here. Then what happened was it reversed. Uh, right around, hold on here, it reversed right around uh, July, you know, late July. And as you're looking at the trend lines here, we had a, a high and then a, it started going low. Then we had a lower high and a lower low, another lower high and a low, lower low, another lower high and a lower low and you can see I've circled the bottoms here so when I say a lower low I mean you know this low price here is lower than what it was right there this high price here uh, is lower than the high price that I circled right there so that's that's what I mean by higher highs uh, lower highs and and lower lows so right now we're sitting at about 15.22 on silver, and uh, I went ahead and highlighted this right here because this kind of represents a support, um, a support line, and we could move it up just a little bit. And I'm basing it off of this area right in here um, for 15, about 15.22. That's a support level, okay. The next support level underneath that. I would probably have to say, let me draw a line real quick. The next support line should be right around it here at about 14.14. Oh, 14. So what I expect to happen here really soon is we're going to get a bounce off of uh, this support level uh, up here. Like right around 15, uh, maybe 15.07, 15.10. We'll have to see what happens, but just based off of the uh, the volume, like right now, as you can see, it's in the red. It means people are selling. Um, they're selling off silver, and we're here in the uh, the oversold territory because we're below the red line up here on the stochastics. Okay, so you'll see just based off the indicators, um, along with the uh, the MACD, this blue line here at the bottom, every time it goes up, it'll cross over. 
So if you see back here in September, October, where I got my cursor, it crossed over the white line and it went up. And as you can see, the price was going up along with that blue line. You see that right there? Just look at the price uh, and the candlesticks as they're going up. And then look at the blue line down here where it crossed over the white line. So I'm expecting this blue line to cross over the white line again here soon. You know, and take us back up. Um, which means that the price should shoot back up here. Now, if we go over um, this this uh, lower high that I've, you know, where I've got my cursor in the circle, if we shoot above that, I believe that the uh, the trend could reverse, and we could start seeing higher highs and and uh, higher lows. All right. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily going to happen because again these prices are being artificially suppressed so they may end up trying to suppress it some more um, but with us being so close to you know Trump being in office uh, and the inauguration date coming up um, you know it's very very good possibility that you could see the trend start reversing here soon because like I've said before guys Trump silver is really bullish if you look at what Trump wants to do you know, by rebuilding our military, uh, and and that requires silver, okay? And if you don't already know this and you're watching this for the first time, I'll leave a link in the description for a, a previous video that I did on silver, and I talk about the supply and demand of silver. So if you know anything about the supply and demand of silver, and you tie that into what Trump wants to do when he gets in office by rebuilding the military, you'll know that the price of silver over the long term, say probably into the second half of 2017, um, maybe even the, the first quarter of 2017 or second quarter of 2017, you're going to see, I believe, you're going to see silver start going up. So this trend could very, very possibly uh, reverse. Now, the other thing that I um, has got my attention here, you see this little blue line? That's the uh, moving 50-day average. Now, something that happens when trends reverse is you'll see this 50-day moving average line, this blue line here, it'll cross over the red, which is the 200-day uh, moving average. And if you notice, both of them are starting to get really close to each other. And that usually signals that the, you know, you're going to see a crossover here real soon with the 50-day uh, moving average going on top of the 200 day and the 200 day will act as support for the new uh, uptrend that we'll see in silver and as you can see again if you look at the chart here and you look at this blue line where I've got my cursor it's going up it's going up it's getting really close to the 200 day moving average the 200 day moving average continues to go down like this you're gonna get a crossover where they where they cross like right up in here again it's right where I've got this trend line going for this new high in silver. So we'll see what happens, but I uh, I just wanted to cover that real quick on the charts because you know I'm invested in in silver right now, and when I see things like this, um, boy, I'll tell you what, all it makes me want to do is just back up the truck and start stocking up on some more of this uh, these silver contracts or buy physical silver for that matter. So. Um, I'll give you another update here in a couple weeks on silver just to so we can kind of see what it's doing and see if it actually um, follows you know what I've what I've got laid out here for you and we'll see if it starts reversing in the trend if you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel please do so I've got playlists again that go over this kind of stuff with technical analysis um, and I, I explain different things when it comes to uh, reading charts um, and then I also have videos that cover broad topics in investing. So if you're interested in, in uh, you know, throwing some money in the table and getting getting some skin in the game when it comes to investing, um, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, that's all I have for today, guys. Remember, income's the outcome, and uh, be patient. Okay, I'll talk to you guys here soon.